Welcome back to The Lawn Hustle. I am your host, Andy Wilson. I own and operate professional lawn maintenance in Newcastle, Indiana. This is the first week of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And for the last four or five years, professional lawn maintenance has gone pink. We wear pink t-shirts, pink hats, and I use a pink blower that was sent to me by Echo Means Business. I appreciate that gift. Thank you very much. Cancer is a vicious disease. It has no respect for anyone. As you can tell, I speak a little different. I have a raspy voice because I am a throat cancer survivor. And when you hear of someone being diagnosed with cancer, whether it's throat cancer, bone cancer, breast cancer, whatever type of cancer they are diagnosed with, you truly don't understand what that diagnosis means unless you have been diagnosed. I remember the day just like it happened today when the doctor pulled the scope out of my nose and said, you have cancer. I was sick for three years. I had 10 surgeries. I had half of my larynx removed. I have one vocal cord. But I'm doing this podcast because I am a survivor. I am a fighter. And this podcast is different than most of my podcast because most of my podcasts are related to the green industry, lawn care. But I want to take advantage of this opportunity to speak into the life of someone that has recently been diagnosed or you have been battling cancer for a while. Breast cancer awareness affects men and women because yes, men can get breast cancer. We've been doing our campaign for the last three, four, five years. But this year, it hits closer to home. Because one of my best friends, who happens to be my pastor, his wife was recently diagnosed with breast cancer. So to Kendra, this year, we wear pink for you. Our pink shirts, our pink hats, and I use my pink blower for you. And not only my pastor's wife, Kendra, but I want to encourage anyone that is in the fight. No one truly understands what a diagnosis means. I'll never
never forget the grip of fear that took a hold of me. I'll never forget asking the questions, why me? What have I ever done to deserve this? The anxiety of not knowing what the future holds. Not knowing if you will see your son and your daughter graduate from high school, go on to college, graduate, and become productive citizens in our community. I'll never forget thinking, will I ever be able to walk my daughter down the aisle and give her to the love of her life? Will I ever see my son grow into a man? These are things that I thought. These are emotions that I battled. These are fears that I went through. And I know there's a mom that has recently been diagnosed with breast cancer. And you're thinking along those lines. Why me? The nights that I laid my head on the pillow with tears streaming down my cheeks because I was afraid. But I'm the man of the family. Can I let my wife know how I feel? Can I express myself to my children? Will they think less of me? Will they think I'm weak if I admit I'm afraid? And I know what you're going through because I've been there. The days when you wake up and you immediately wish you would have died in the middle of the night. The days you wake up and you have no strength and no energy to get out of the bed much less get dressed and go about your day. I know what you're feeling. I know what you're facing. The uncertainty, the fear, the questions. But if I can make it, you can make it. At one point, my tumor had grown back in my voice box was paralyzing my vocal cords and the doctor said you've got to go to surgery the tumor is now the size of a golf ball and if we don't take it out you have two weeks to live someone listening maybe it's you Maybe it's a mother, a sister, an aunt, a grandma, an uncle, a father, a child. You're facing those days of struggle. You're facing those days of depression. And I'll be honest with you, there's days that the depression overwhelmed me and I begged God to take me. But somehow, through it all, I survived. I beat it. I won. 
Someone told me, you don't have cancer. Cancer has you. And cancer doesn't know what it ran into when it attacked your body. And I want to tell someone, whoever you are, you don't have cancer. Cancer has you. And cancer doesn't know what they're messing with. Cancer doesn't know what it ran into when it attacked your body. And this is probably going to be a short podcast today. But let me tell you, stay in the fight. Don't ever stop. Don't you ever give up. You can beat this. I know you don't believe that right now because the battle is so real. The struggle is so real. The the emotions are so high and so low. And I know you're going to have those days when you wake up and you feel like, I can beat this. And then there's going to be days you wake up and you wonder, why didn't God take me in the middle of the night? Because I felt that. But stay in the fight. Don't ever give up. Fight through the emotions. Fight through the struggle. Fight through the suffering and the pain, and the sickness, and the sickness that is brought from treatments. You can survive. And so I dedicate this podcast to every cancer patient, to every woman with breast cancer, To every man with breast cancer, I dedicate this podcast to you because I want to encourage you. I want to be a strength to you. I want to be a mechanism of support for you. When you're weak, I can be strong. When you struggle, I can be there to encourage you because I've been through it. You just got to be determined. Whatever punch comes my way, if I have to take it on the chin, I'm going to take it on the chin and I'm going to get up with dignity to fight one more day. So please, take it from a survivor. You can survive. Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Bringing awareness to this dreadful disease. Bringing awareness to the struggle associated with cancer, to the battles associated with cancer. We're bringing awareness. So this month when I'm out working and you see me mowing on my my grasshopper mower with my pink shirt and my pink hat, or you see me blowing off a sidewalk with my pink blower, It's for you. I'm bringing awareness to this dreadful disease for you because I believe in you. Please don't ever fight. Stop fighting. Please don't ever give up. Please don't ever forfeit. You can make it. 
you for listening to our podcast today. I hope someone finds strength, encouragement, and a little help to help you realize you're a fighter. You're a victor, not a victim. You're the head and not the tail. You're the winner, not a loser. Health can be restored. And I'm going to do something a little different on this podcast right now. I'm going to pray for you. Lord, I pray for every individual that is fighting cancer right now. I pray you would walk into that hospital room that your spirit would reach down and touch them. God, I know you're a healer of all disease and all affliction, and there's nothing impossible with you. With man, it might be impossible, but with God, all things are possible to them that believe. Lord, help thou my unbelief. Help the unbelief of those who are struggling. And I pray you give them peace, give them comfort. And I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. I appreciate you listening to my podcast today. I... No, it's probably not easy to listen to someone that has a voice like this, but I appreciate you. If you have found value in my podcast today, reach out to us, follow us on our social media, subscribe to our podcast, and I would pray that you would... um, Find strength today to fight another day. We're going to take a break. I'm going to listen to a word from my sponsor. I appreciate you. God bless you. Are you tired of those spam calls about your online presence and website? I know you're nodding your head right now. Finding a company that knows the details about the lawn and landscape industry can be difficult. Well, I have a solution for you. Let me introduce you to Green Frog Web Design. We all know growing your business in our digital age requires an effective online presence. A website geared towards bringing in new customers. With fierce competition and a never-ending line of chuck-in-the-trucks ready to take your place, DIYing your online presence is not a serious option for growing businesses. Find a trustworthy and effective solution with Green Frog Web Design. Oh, and by the way, the first month for a new website is $1. Link is in the bio. Again, I want to say I appreciate you and thank you. Follow all of our social media in the show notes and I'm not going to promote and try to sell you anything today it's a kind of sober podcast so I don't want to mention anything for sale I just want you to know I'm thinking about you I'm praying for you and you can make it Until we talk again, God bless you. We'll talk on a a different subject next week. Have a great week. We'll talk soon.